Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Well, continuing our study of types of relations, let us now look at what is an equivalence relation. Well, an equivalence relation is one that is reflexive, symmetric as well as transitive. So whenever we are given a relation R which is reflexive, so it has to be reflexive first. It also has to be symmetric and it also has to be transitive. So whenever a given relation is both reflexive and symmetric as well as it is also transitive then if all these three properties are satisfied by a given relation we say that that relation is an equivalence relation. So whenever you are given a relation we can check the equivalence relation by checking if these three relations are satisfied or not. Let us take an example. Suppose we have a relation R that is defined in this manner wherein we have the first ordered pair a comma b related to the second ordered pair c comma d then the relation is defined in such a way that a plus d is equal to b plus c then suppose we are given this relation we have to check if this is an equivalence relation or not. So the relation that we now have to check is this relation r which says that an ordered pair a b is related to an ordered pair c d according to the property a plus d is equal to b plus c. So now the condition here is a plus d should be equal to b plus c and if this condition is satisfied we say that these two ordered pairs belong to that relation R. Let us try to check if this is a equivalence relation or not. First we will check if the relation is reflexive and we know that if a given relation is reflexive it is of the form alpha related to alpha that is some element alpha should be related to the same element alpha. And so for all elements alpha if this property is satisfied we say that R is a reflexive relationship. Now here we have a comma b related to c comma d. So let us fix our alpha as the ordered pair a comma b. So now we have to check if alpha is related to alpha. So we now substitute alpha's value which is the ordered pair a comma b and we have to check if a comma b is related to a comma b itself. And so we substitute in place of c we put an a and in place of d we put a b. And so we can now write this relation should be equivalent to a plus d. Now d in this case is b so I write an a plus b here and this should be equal to b plus c here. But our c is equal to a and so b plus c becomes b plus a. And so we have to check if this condition is true. Clearly for addition this condition is always true because this is a commutative condition and it holds for addition. In simple words a plus b is equal to b plus a for all real numbers a and b and so we can say that this property is satisfied by this relation and so we now say that because a comma b is related to itself that is a comma b we say that this is a reflexive relation. So we first check that this given relation r this given relation r is reflexive. So this first check turns out to be positive and so next we perform the check for symmetry. Now for symmetry we require that a alpha related to beta should also imply beta related to alpha. So we now have to check if this implication is satisfied. To check this we fix our alpha as the ordered pair a comma b and we fix our beta as the ordered pair c comma d and so we have to perform this check for these values of alpha and beta. Now if you look at this left hand side we will start with this as the given statement and we will try to prove this statement. So we now have that alpha is related to beta and so we can now write a comma b is related to c comma d and because this is related we can now write this implies that a plus d is equal to b plus c and this is by the definition of the relation r itself and so now from this result that we've obtained we can equivalently write therefore c plus b is also equal to d plus a. So I am now writing the same result in this order wherein I have obtained that c plus b is equal to d plus a. And now looking at this equality and looking at the definition of this relation r we can now say that because this equation is true then looking at this relation I can now write c comma d is related to a comma b. So now we have started with this result that a comma b was related to c comma d and that result helped us arrive at this conclusion that c comma d is also related to a comma b and so now we have proved that a comma b related to c comma d does imply that c comma d is also related 
to a comma b and now from this implication we can state that this relation r is a symmetric relation likewise you can also start with this condition first that is you can also assume c comma d is related to a comma b and because of this assumption you can again prove that that implies a comma b is related to c comma d and so this double implication is true and whenever such a double implication holds we say that this given relation is a symmetric relation so we have now seen how the relation that was defined over here is also a reflexive relation and is also a symmetric relation so we'll put a tick mark here over here because we have now proved that the relation is reflexive as well as symmetric now comes the final part that we have to check if this given relation is transitive or not so let us perform the check for transitivity of this relation r now for transitivity we have to check if alpha is related to beta and if beta is related to gamma then these two these two conditions should imply that alpha is related to gamma so we now have to check if alpha related to beta and beta related to gamma allows us to conclude that alpha is related to gamma or not so now taking an example we will now fix our alpha as a comma b next we will check or fix our beta as c comma d and we will check our gamma or fix our gamma as e comma f so we have now fixed ordered pairs that alpha represents the ordered pair a comma b beta is the ordered pair c comma d and lastly gamma is the ordered pair e comma f and we have to check if this condition holds now we have been given these first two statements and so i will rewrite these statements in terms of the values of alpha and beta and so alpha will be replaced by a comma b and we know that a comma b is now related to c comma d this is from this first assumption and so this statement allows us to conclude this result likewise we also have that this beta is related to gamma and so beta is c comma d whereas gamma is e comma f and so we also have that c comma d is related to e comma f and now from this definition of the relation we can now say that because this is true i can now write a plus d is therefore equal to b plus c so we have now obtained that from this relation which we have assumed to be true that a plus d is equal to b plus c and in a similar manner because i have also assumed that c comma d is related to e comma f by this relation i can now also write c plus f is equal to d plus e so i have now obtained these two results wherein i am obtained a plus d is equal to b plus c and i have also got c plus f is equal to d plus e so we have now obtained these two results and now we have to prove that alpha should also be related to gamma so the proof that is now required of us asks us to prove alpha related to gamma but note that our alpha is a comma b and this should be proved equal or this should be proved to have a relation with e comma f now to prove this result we will require that a plus f should therefore be equal to b plus e so let us try to prove this statement now if you look at these two result that we have obtained if we add the left hand side and right hand side what we will get from these two equalities is that a plus d now i am adding this to this and so i will get a, a plus d plus c plus f will now be equal to the right hand side sum and so i will write that equal to b plus c plus d plus e and now i will cut the common terms notice that here a d exists and here also a d exists so i can strike it out so d is taken care of now if you notice closely you realize that there is a c here and there is a c here as well and so you can strike off the c out and so what now remains on the left hand side is simply a plus f and likewise what now remains on the right hand side is simply b plus e and now if you look at this this is exactly what we wanted that is we wanted a plus f equal to b plus e and because this has been proved i can now go in the reverse order and state that a plus f is equal to b plus e and so this relation holds between the ordered pairs a comma b and e comma f and so now i have proved that alpha is also related to gamma and so the transitivity relation has also been proved so we have now proved that the given relation here is reflexive symmetric and also transitive and therefore because it is reflexive as well as symmetric as well as transitive this is an equivalence relation so an equivalence relation is one that is reflexive symmetric and transitive Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.